It converts HDMI to SDI. It converts SDI to HDMI. It scales frame rates and resolutions, and it can act as an SDI splitter. We're talking about the Decimator MDHX and why it's the one tool that I think every live stream professional needs in their kit. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zephan Moses, and if you appreciate the fact that I didn't lead you on for the full length of this video and told you exactly what the number one live stream tool is, then be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below the video. In this video, I'll share with you why this is the one tool I think everyone needs. Three features that you should know about that aren't super obvious in the decimator marketing, and I'll show you how to use some of the key features of this device. I'll also link to the decimator in the comments down below. One important note, if you find you have trouble with the MDHX being in stock, there is a newer HDMI SDI 12G Cross that Decimator released this past year that does the same functions, just now with 4K compatibility. So let's dive into the MDHX. For starters, this device has gotten me out of trouble and is worth its weight in gold. So much so that I pack three of them in my kit for every event that I ever stream. The most common use I have for this device is taking a PowerPoint presentation feed from a computer at the front of the room, and I'll run the power to the decimator and keep it close to the presentation computer. I'll run an HDMI cable out of the computer and into the decimator. To save you a little bit of trouble with the newer Macs, I have a USB-C to HDMI all-in-one cable, and I'll link that down below too. Then I'll go into the decimator settings and confirm that I'm sending this feed out as SDI. If the computer is providing a funky frame rate or one that differs from my live stream frame rate, I can use the built-in scaler to take the heavy lifting off of my live stream switcher. For those following along, if you have an A10 Mini Pro or Extreme, you know that there are scalers on all of the inputs but not all switchers are alike. And so I'll usually scale in the decimator before sending it down an SDI cable. Back in my tech table, we'll convert the signal back to HDMI if we're using the ATEM, or if you have a Constellation or a switcher with SDI, then no conversion back to HDMI is necessary. Now this is a most common use, but one of the key features of the decimator is the ability to route the input to both the SDI and HDMI outputs. This means that I can also send a second output using the HDMI out, and this could go to a projector, a TV screen, or anywhere else. That's the beauty of this device, is that the scaler can be output over SDI and HDMI. So you not only scale it for your switcher's frame rate needs, but you can also scale it for the needs of the projector or TV screen. It's also important to note that you can toggle whether or not you send the scaler to the SDI outputs, the HDMI output, or both. This means if your projector needs 60 frames, and that's what your computer is originally sending into the decimator, you can simply loop an HDMI with the original signal into your projector. But if your switcher needs 30 frames, you can scale from 60 down to 30 and send that over the SDI output. Let me pause here and mention that you cannot scale two simultaneous frame rates. So you couldn't take a 60 frame input, send 30 over the SDI, but 24 over the HDMI. Now let's dive into three features that you should know about with the decimator that aren't exactly clear in their marketing. For starters, the decimator is a fantastic troubleshooting tool because you can select a color to be displayed on screen in the event that the decimator isn't getting a feed. This is a quick troubleshooting tool that allows you to make sure a screen is working properly or to see very quickly when a feed is dropped out. To set this up, go into the control menu and select the option for no signal color. This will let you cycle the color options between blue, green, cyan, red, magenta, yellow, white, or black. Once you've picked your color, hit enter to save it and then back out of the menu. Now, if this didn't work, you'll need to toggle over to the duck ref menu item still within the control menu and set your duck ref to free run. Duck stands for down, up, converter. 
but you can think of this as your scaler. This was something that no one told me, and I found buried deep down when I had a color set, but it wasn't popping up on screen when a signal was disconnected. Feature number two is the USB menu. By connecting the decimator to a computer and downloading their USB control panel, which is compatible with both Mac and Windows, you gain a much easier to use interface for changing the settings on the decimator. You can still access everything from the menu buttons on the unit itself, but if you have an extra minute and a free USB cable, it might be easier to double check your settings on a computer. The third and final feature that I believe most people should know about, but don't, is that the decimator can flip a video signal horizontally or vertically. I've used this feature when cameras need to be mounted inverted, and I've also used this when teleprompters or screens needed to be flipped, but didn't have the software built in to do so. To use this feature, grab your decimator and toggle over to the scaling menu. Then find the option for horizontal flip or vertical flip, where you can toggle them on or off. Bonus feature, the decimator is considered a bi-directional converter, which means that you can convert one signal from HDMI to SDI and a second signal from SDI to HDMI simultaneously. This is fantastic because it saves you an additional converter in some cases. Again, I'll be posting links in the description down below because if you don't already have one of these devices in your toolkit, you're going to want to add one right away. This device has saved my butt so many times. It's really helpful having the LCD screen where it displays three important pieces of information. The first is S, which shows the SDI input resolution and frame rate. The second is H, which shows the HDMI input resolution and frame rate. And the third is D for the down up converter so you can confirm what frame rate and resolution you may be scaling it to. What are your thoughts on this Swiss Army Knife device? Let me know down in the comments what you think. See you next time.